Welcome back to the series. We are really winding down. Here is part 10, recording background vocals. Hey, I'm Stevie O, and this is Mystical Lady Productions and Studios. A big shout out to Warren Heward and the people that produce like a pro for giving me the green light to go ahead with this series on YouTube and reproducing one of the songs in their catalog. Caden Cashmere's The Sweetest Goodbye. And if you're catching this video series for the first time here at part 10, parts one through nine, we start from sequencing and programming drums to laying down keyboard parts and bass, acoustic guitar, other background vocals, lead guitar parts. It's been a real fun ride. And we're gonna wrap up the actual recording sessions today. All right, what I'm gonna be attempting to do is to really fatten up the overall course of these vocals, including the lead vocal part itself. Now, what's really crucial in when you're doing an, an overdub of a lead vocal is to match phrasing, the breaths that are taking, when words are cut off, when when the phrasing starts, so there's not little skips and, and pops and overlays, you know. I mean, a lot of that can be fixed later in an edit, but I try to, from a recording standpoint, try to capture a feel as much as the original vocalist's singing performance as possible. It's the sweetest goodbye with the fear in my mind. I can't leave you behind, but I can't seem to find my place alongside you. That fire's burned out too. You say that you're fine. It's the sweetest goodbye. Try it. Let's see. Uh... Let's see how it sounded under under the original vocal. If it was a close match, um, other little things that could be maybe fixed in an edit. But I'm hoping hoping that was it. I promise to be strong. I learned nothing, nothing all along. It's the sweetest goodbye with the fear in my mind. I can't leave. All right, gonna go into a quick editing feature. Um, I use Melodyne, I forget which version this is, but Melodyne's great because you can basically go in and, and change the pitch, you know, for, for what you're doing. So this is what the uh, first couple lines of, of that vocal look like. I, I soloed the vocal and I soloed the piano so you can see what's going on. And uh, here you go. It's the sweetest goodbye. Okay, now, there's your there's your high note right there. Sweet! And it is a D. And that blob is right pluck in the middle of that. So not to brag or anything, but I nailed it. Now I'm gonna show you where I didn't nail it, where I went flat, and this is what's cool. With the fear in my mind. A little flat. That one. Fine. Can't seem to find. So this is cool. What you do is you go into this and see, see where the blob is sitting there, right here. You want it to be a nice B note, okay? So this is cool. I just take this little doohickey and I double click it. <laughs> that simple. That simple. And you go back and play it again, and it is fixed. Pitch corrected. I can't seem to find. Okay. So that's what I do. That's what I did with the oohs and ahs with me and mom. There were, there were a couple spots where we were both kind of off, so I went in and I made some pitch correction. Before I, go, before I go any further, I wanted to backtrack a little bit and show you some of the edit I did with Caden's lead vocal. I added a harmony in a couple different sections on a few of the lines with her uh, voice. I used the Melodyne. I was able to come up with this nice, pretty little harmony on a couple of the phrases. And then I'll show you at the end uh, where the chorus builds, I put a nice high harmony above the lead vocal. Let me show you real quick. Let you let yourself burn Do you ever learn 
I have to take my part when you gone and broke my heart. I promise I'll be strong. I learned nothing, nothing all along. It's the sweetest goodbye with fear in my mind. I have to leave you behind. I can't see the fine. My place alongside you. Hey, this is Stevie O. If you are enjoying this content, if you're into this kind of thing, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share and all that jazz. We'd really appreciate the love. We'll see you in the next video. All right, cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and start laying the other background vocal tracks. All right, for this next harmony part, it's going to be the uh, vocal that comes in just below. Uh, the melody. I'm going to sing it twice. I'm going to sing it once in my full voice and then another time in a falsetto voice. It's the sweetest goodbye with fear in my mind. I can't leave you behind, but I can't seem to find my place alongside you. That fire's burned out too. You say that you're fine It's the sweetest goodbye Let's try this last harmony It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a It's the sweetest goodbye With the fear in my mind I can't leave you behind but I can't seem to find my... All right, so just wrapped up recording and editing five background vocal tracks, okay? One was the falsetto that accompanied the lead vocal. I laid down two tracks that were one-third below the melody. One was a full voice and one was a falsetto. And then I laid two more tracks, a fifth below the melody, one full voice and one falsetto. It's the sweetest goodbye. Now bring those all in with the oohs and the ahs in the background, and you got this. Ooh, it's the sweetest goodbye, with fear in my mind, I have to leave you behind, I can't seem to find. Woo, wow, a lot of work going into that song and the production and the recording process. I'm so honored that you all have participated and watched and followed this series. It means a lot to me. And now that the production and recording end is done, time for the next phase, doing the actual mix. Part 11, the last part of the series, I'm gonna demonstrate some mixing techniques that I use. I'm not gonna give away which ones I'm gonna do yet, so you're gonna have to wait. Have a beautiful day and go out there and make some music.